are the melee guns underpowered? Do they need a buff in damage or range? Or does DICE need to incorporate other types of weapons to cater for different playstyles? In today's video, I'll be giving my thoughts on how I believe the Menic class can be improved upon and its current state in Battlefield 5. Do Menic weapons need a damage buff? No. When the game first launched, many players voiced frustration that the Menic guns felt weak compared to other classes. For me, personally, I really enjoyed the SMGs provided for the Menic class. It's not a case of running and gunning in this game, but with tactics and clever play, you can effectively take down multiple enemies. And as you can see in the gameplay, most of my kills are close range. I am picking the gunfights I am most likely to win, and choosing not to engage in the fights I know I will lose. So a damage buff at this point for the Menic guns would be a huge mistake in my opinion, especially when teamed with the current time to kill system. So what's the problem? I think it's the lack of variety when choosing your weapon. To only have an option of an SMG is a mistake. For one, not everyone's playstyle suits or they may not prefer to use an SMG. This will prevent this player base ever contemplating using a Menic class. Two. The way Battlefield 5 forces us to play makes running medic difficult at times. Some maps are too big, or they lack cover when moving to objectives. Why would you play as a medic? It's an easy option to play assault or support, put a scope on, and rack up the kills. We all know why DICE did this. So medics were on the front lines reviving teammates and being all heroic. But in reality, this doesn't work. Not enough players play the objective, and we don't want to get stuck in a revive animation that makes you an easy target for enemies. Why was this animation even implemented? What was wrong with Battleford 1's revive animation? This adds to the many reasons why we do not choose to play Menic at times. In this year's game, reviving feels more of a chore, whereas in past Battlefield games, reviving was quick and more enjoyable. So for me, I will be happy to see this unnecessary animation disappear altogether. This is unlikely, but hopefully DICE will change this for future titles. The Solution I have already given my thoughts on the revive animation, and how changing it may bring back the enjoyment in reviving teammates. DICE needs to give us, the players, more variety to choose from, while we limited to just SMGs. Bring back the versatility the Minute class had in previous Battlefield games. In Battlefield 1, for example, we had guns ranging from the autoloading to the Federal, two completely different guns. Battlefield 5 only provides guns that are very similar and that lack variety. Maybe even just give us a carbine or two, that does give us the option to engage other enemies at longer ranges. Maybe the M1A1 is an option. In the short term, maybe swapping a few of the current weapons around may help balance the classes a little. Then in future updates, add an assault rifle, self-loading rifle, to encourage more medics back to the battlefield. DICE needs to do something. Sometimes there are only a handful of medics on an entire team. This has to change, as this makes playing solo very difficult and frustrating. Hopefully in the January patch, DICE will take a look at the Medic class and make some changes. This will hopefully make the Medic a viable option again to players who mainly play Support or Assault, meaning more than the usual 4 or 5 players playing Medic on your team. A more even spread of Assault, Support, Medic and Scout can only help the game feel less one dimensional. Don't get me wrong, DICE has done a great job with this game, it's fun to play and the gunplay is enjoying and satisfying when you get kills, but I fear the game may become stale if certain balancing issues are ignored especially issues mentioned in this video. I would hate for the longevity of the game to be affected by this. Anyway guys, just my quick thoughts on the state of the Menic class. It would be great to get feedback in the comments section. If you agree or disagree, it would be cool to hear your guys' thoughts on this topic. I am hoping to do more commentaries like this in the future and hopefully get better in the process. Also, hit me up on Twitter. The link or the handle is in the description below. So, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, drop a like and subscribe. See you next time. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant.